Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and today I'm going to show you how to use the wonderful P2 theme by Automatic. It is something that lets you post from the front page without having to go to the back end. I've decided to write a book and to track my daily word count I've also decided to install P2 on a domain so that I can collaborate with people who may be editing the book and just to keep a general diary of what I'm doing and how well I'm doing or not so well I'm doing. We'll see how it all turns out. I've decided I'm going to use the wonderful P2 theme by Automatic, uh, which I'm using here on my website wpguru.tv or .co.uk. I'm using it on several other sites as well, and I found it to be an extremely helpful tool to jot things down briefly without having to log into the back end of the website. Let's have a look how this works. Here we have a WordPress instance, WordPress 3.8.1. It'll work with uh, older versions, of course, as well, and hopefully newer versions. Uh, this is a brand new default install, so it's got the 2014 theme on it. I'm already logged in, so let me go to the back end here. I like to have the back end open in one tab and the front page in another, so I'm just going to hover over here and right click on Visit Site and open this in a new tab. So now we have the front page of my website here and the back end in the other tab. First of all, let's install P2. So on the left hand side here under appearance, we can go to themes and I've only got 2014 and 2013 installed. Two of my other favorite themes, I must admit. <laughs> let's go and click the add new button and download it straight from the WordPress repository. All we need to do is type P2 and hit search. And here we have P2, the classic by Automatic. And on the right hand side here, you'll also find P2 categories, which is my version of P2. I've taken the theme and extended it and added uh, a little drop down box at the top, which will allow you to post into categories. I won't be using that right now, so I'm just going to go and install that classic P2 theme. Once that's done, I can either hit activate or I can go and live preview it, make some changes and then activate. I'm just gonna go over and activate it. And once that's done, let's check out the front page. May not look like much right now, but we'll talk about how to make it all snazzy in another video. For now, we're only concerned with the functionality of P2. So as you can see here, while I'm logged in, if I'm an author or anything higher than that, I'm currently an administrator, I get the post box. If I had a user role that was lower than this, we, would have, we wouldn't have that. I think the editor uh, and anything lower subscriber, they don't get the post box, but authors and administrators, they will do. Well, they will get the post box. You can still post things from the back end as before. But the really cool thing about P2 is that you can post from the front page. You can post anything from small status updates, like this, if the first button is selected. You can hit post. And you will see that your post now comes into view on the front page and kind of inserts itself right here. There it is. Even highlights it yellow if it's a new post. You can also choose the blog post option, which is the same thing, but it will give your new post a title. Awesome. Posts that do or don't have a title can be linked to with the permalink option. So you can either uh, copy this link or you can click on it directly and go straight to that post. You can also leave comments on a post. So you just hit reply, little box pops up. This is a comment. And just like with other posts, they will insert themselves straight into the DOM, basically. That's how it works. And there it is. Other users in different web browsers will get a little notification window that pops up if they've been away from that particular tab or from their browser and new events have happened, they will get a message that says three new updates have happened. We use this type of blog internally to communicate and many other people that I've spoken to are also using that including Automatic who do all their internal communication worldwide as well as the documentation with P2 themes. You also have two other buttons up here that's the quote button and the link button. So those are just different styling options uh, for posts so uh, let's, let's see. 
So put the quote here and whoever said it down here and hit post. And this is how it formats it. Similar thing happens with links, which of course don't have a post title, post author rather, or quote author, shall I say. Awesome, they get a blue background, a blue highlight. Notice also that I didn't have to type any ex additional HTML here. A link will just work, and that will work in either of these options. So if I have something that I would like to share with people, so I could say, um, and the actual hyperlink will be inserted automatically. So that's one of the things that makes using P2 really easy. Just copy and paste the link and add it to your status update or blog post and you're good to go. Of course, you can also add tags into this and they work just like they do on the back end. So um, let me demonstrate. I'll just call this one tag one. I don't have any other tags right here. So as soon as I post it, the tag will be added to my WordPress database and will appear here. Now, if I write another one, then there will be an auto completion thing happening here. So if I type the first couple of letters TA, then it will also, then it will go to the database. Notice we have something that starts with TA, which is tag one. So I can use the cursor keys to just go and um, tap on it, just like in the WordPress backend and post it as well. Notice that if a tag has more than one post in it, it'll appear as a hyperlink. So as soon as you click on it, it will then go and show you all the posts or status updates that have been tagged with this very tag. But that's not all. P2 can do a lot more for you. One of the things that I'm particularly fond of is the bulleted list. Sometimes you just want to say something like this. Without writing any HTML, if I just begin a new line with the minus sign and click post, P2 will automatically translate that into a proper HTML unordered lists and display it just like this. Bulleted lists. The same also works for ordered lists. So an ordered list is one that begins with a number. Let me demonstrate. This is how it works. Just start a new line with the hash symbol and P2 will know that as soon as you post it, this will now be a HTML ordered list. Behind the scenes, if you go and edit a post, you can see the actual HTML that P2 has generated, all from the front page. And here you see how this is constructed in HTML, so this is properly done. And if you wanted to add another item, you can just uh, insert HTML tags yourself, if you like, and just hit save or cancel if you don't want to save the changes. So those are ordered and unordered lists. Another one that is a particular favorite of mine is the to-do list option. Let's do this in a blog post. So begin something with a small letter O, just like in the lists. Small letter O becomes a tick box that is unticked and begin it with a small letter X and it becomes a tick box that is ticked. Let's check out how P2 translates that. Marvelous, box is ticked and the item is crossed out. So if I go and tick another one, it will remember this state. And if I refresh the page or if another user sees this, then that will also be crossed out. Not only that, you can also see that it puts my name in brackets here. My, it's almost like on Twitter, so it puts at versus Lewis, so uh, your, your WordPress username here. And if you have a multi-user blog, then depending on who ticked it, their name sits in brackets at the end of that line. Pretty cool, huh? We've talked about lists and links, but you can also add YouTube videos literally just by pasting the YouTube URL. Let's check it out. So just by adding the standard YouTube link, it will, P2 will auto embed the video and figure out the correct width of it as well. Is this cool or what? I didn't write any HTML code for that and it just inserted itself and it works just as well if you have more than one user on the blog. The usual WordPress features will still work if we come back here into the backend and hit all posts. We can see how P2 
P2 deals with these um, uh, status update posts, standard posts. So this one's a status, this one's a standard post, this one's a quote, and this one's a link. So it's the post format that determines how these things appear on the front page. If we were to make this post here, post with title, just go into a quick edit thing. I wanted to make that sticky. I just tick the make this post sticky box, just like we're used to it. Then it'll be at the very top of all the other posts, and new posts are being inserted be below this post. Let's check this out. Refresh the front page for this change to appear. There it is, inclusive of the comment. You can also toggle the comments if you don't want to see them. Then they're collapsed. This is an option that you can tick by default in the WordPress backend. You can even display keyboard shortcuts. And then if you uh, create a new post, then this will be inserted underneath your sticky post. Is this cool or what? P2 also comes with a handful of useful widgets. Let's check them out. Over here under Appearance Widgets, we can see that currently the sidebar is full of the usual suspects. Let's get rid of them all. So all I leave here is the search widget because I think that's rather useful. P2 Recent Tags is one I really like. Let's uh, move that in here. And there's also one that's called P2 Recent Comments. So that looks a bit better than the, the standard um, Recent Comments widget. Let's save this and check out the front page. Cool, we, have, we only have one tag right now, and we've got a few comments, one by Mr. WordPress and one by me. And this list will dynamically grow as more tags will come into your database. Some other options in the backend that you might want to check out. And uh, appearance theme options, this is where you can customize P2 a little bit. You can allow any registered member to post, so even subscribers will be able to post if you tick that option. Hide threads is the thing that will collapse the comments. So right now you can. there's always this toggle button here, but if you tick that, hide comment threads by default, and you refresh the page, then they will be collapsed by default. That's how I've done on my website. So you can always see who's discussing and just toggle the comments. You can also pick a color for the background. You can also hide the sidebar if you like, if you don't want to see it. You can even add one of the predefined background images here. Maybe if it's Christmas, you can pick Santa. We'll leave it as none. And you can also change what the prompt is here. So it always says, hi, Jay, that's you. Who's, well, obviously, you're not Jay, I'm Jay, but you know, <laughs> you'll have your name on it here. And it'll, it'll give you a prompt. So what's today's word count is mine but you can, um, you can say anything, for example, and go and update. We'll see all those changes going live right now. And of course, if you like the sidebar better, we just unhide the sidebar and everything is fine again. I hope this was useful. We're going to discuss in another video how we can style P2 and get the most out of customizations so that it could look like the site I've shown you earlier, my website, wpguru.co.uk. And also I've done another one in the, in the same style. That's my iOS dev diary. And that allows me that every time I find some kind of a code snippet or anything that I don't want to forget, I can add that here. In our next video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your brand new website to Google Plus. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with friends, family and loved ones. Bye for now.